an awesome God, how great Thou art. You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe of Your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Sing it with me on this morning. Awesome God, how great Thou art. You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe of Your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Sing it with me on this morning. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. All creation, all creation, call you God. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. We worship your majesty sing it again holy are you lord holy are you lord all creation call you god worthy is your name worthy is your name we worship we worship your majesty Sing it with me, an awesome God, how great Thou art. You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe of Your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Come on and sing it with me on this morning. An awesome God, how great Thou art. You are God, You are God, and mighty are Your miracles. We stand in awe of Your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship. Father, as we get ready to go into the Word of God, minister to everyone under the sound of my voice. Bless your people with the richness of the Word of God. Bring strength, bring encouragement, bring direction, instruction from the Word of God. Lift your people up, we pray. In the mighty name of God, of Jesus this morning somebody say a good amen right there so listen to the word of God I'm talking about God will supply all your needs glory to God God will supply all your needs now I want you to listen to the word of God here because in Philippians chapter 4 verses 10 through 19 the Apostle Paul is pouring his heart out to the church that he had established, to his supporters, to those who were touched and blessed through his ministry, those who had been affected by his ministry. Paul was telling them thanks for the way they had responded to the need of his ministry. And I just want to share from this because this is inspired by the Holy Ghost. And I believe as we look into the Word of God, you will see yourself in the Word of God. There is something about saying yourself in Scripture. Listen to what the Apostle Paul said. Paul said, How I praise the Lord that you are concerned about me again everyone don't think about us ministers but thank god for you precious ones who do paul said i know you have always been concerned for me but you didn't have the chance to help me listen to verse 11 not that i was ever in need for i have learned how to be content 
with whatever I have. That's one of the greatest lessons to learn as a man of God, learning to depend on God and trust the leading of the Holy Ghost. You have to, you just got to be it. You have to come to that place in your life where you have learned to be content Content and satisfied in whatever state you find yourself in. Not easy to do. Now watch this. Paul said in verse 12, I know how to live on almost nothing or everything. Well, wow, that would put some of us preachers ashamed today. Paul said, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I can say I believe I know what the Apostle Paul's talking about right there. Trust me, we know what it is to struggle beyond measure. And we know what it is to get a breakthrough. So listen to this. Paul said, I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. That's powerful stuff. Now, that goes against this wave of what we're hearing today. Now, watch this. Paul said, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Glory to God. Now, a lot of people quote that, but they take it out of context. The context in which Paul used the scripture and said, I can do all things through Christ. And Paul was actually saying, I know what it is. To have little, I know what it is to lack. I know what it is to suffer hunger. I know what it is to not have my needs met. I know what it is to struggle. And then I know what it is to have a breakthrough. I know what it is to have a surplus. That's what, that was the context in which that scripture was used. Now a whole lot of people use it for a whole lot of stuff that doesn't even apply. But right here, that's what, that's the real meaning of why Paul said that scripture. I can do all things, glory to God, through Christ, which strengthens me. Elijah knew what it was to have the ravens come by and feed that man of God. I think in today's terms, we take the word, we take the word prosper far out of context. Prosper means to have your needs met. Are you listening to me? I said, are you listening to me? I said, are you listening to me? Watch this. Verse 14, even so, he's complimenting his partners and those who supported his ministry. Paul said, even so, you have done well to share with me in my present difficulty. You know how I feel about my Bahama land, my people in the Bahamas. And I want to say to you, you have done well my friends you have responded you have given you have supported you have prayed you have stood with us people from the bahamas paul said you have done well to share with me in my present difficulty listen to the next verse as you philippians know you were the only ones who gave financial help when i first brought you the good news and then travel on from Macedonia. No other church did this. I want to say to all of you, uh, followers of the ministry, supporters of the ministry, partners, we love you. You are standing with us on a level that we have never seen in our entire life in ministry. And for this, me and my lovely wife and Pastor Amy and our family and ministry, we are very grateful to God for you. We don't take you for granted. God knows our hearts. And I just, I just felt in my heart, I needed to really take the time out and do an entire broadcast to just thank you and show you from scripture how much you mean to the work of God. We love you, we love you, we love you. God knows it. We read every letter that comes into this ministry. We cry over some of them. We pray over some of them. We pray until we feel a breakthrough. We serve a good God. Listen to this. Paul said, even when I was in Thessalonica, you sent help more than once. All many of you watching this broadcast, you are standing with this ministry on a consistent basis. Thank God for you. 
you are doing it more than once, over and over again. God sees what you are doing. Watch this. Paul says, I'm not saying this because I want a gift from you. Rather, I want you to receive a reward for your kindness. God rewards kindness. He rewards generosity. He rewards those who stand with the work of God. He rewards those who help those in need. What a mighty God we serve. Paul was just thanking those who had responded to his ministry, who stood with him through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Listen to verse 18 and 19. My God, I love the word. At the moment I have all I need and more, I am generously supplied with the gifts you sent me with Epaphroditus, one of his disciples. Paul says, you're giving to this work of God. You're giving, your support, your prayers. You helping share the videos around the world. Paul said, this is how God looks at what you are doing for his work. It is a sweet smelling sacrifice that is acceptable to God. Do you see that? God sees what you are doing as a sweet smelling sacrifice. It's acceptable and it's pleasing to God. Oh, I had to take the time out to read this to you. Now listen to verse 19. And this one here is so personal from the heart of Paul and from our hearts to you. And this same God, friends, viewing audience and partners of this ministry, this same God who takes care of me and Pastor Amy and our lovely family, this same God who takes care of us will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ let me read that again and this same God my God I feel the Holy Ghost this same God who takes care of me and Pastor Amy and our beautiful kids he will supply he will supply all your needs from his glorious riches in Christ Jesus I want to join my faith with you right now play softly God is able I join my faith with every partner of this ministry our viewing audience you that believe in this ministry that stand with us that pray for us that share the videos around the world I join my faith with you me and my lovely wife Pastor Amy we join our faith with you we lift every need up in your life before the Lord we pray that God would meet every need in your life we pray that God would lift every burden off your shoulder we pray that God would turn your marriage around we pray that God would turn your relationships around with your children we pray that God would save your family members and your loved ones we pray that God would give you divine favor we pray that God would turn the things around in your life that have been troubling you disturbing you and causing you to lose sleep we pray that God would heal your sick bodies in the mighty name of Jesus for the Bible says with the same measure you meet it shall be given back to you again the Bible says if you give a prophet a drink of water in the name of a prophet you will get the prophet's reward I pray that every reward that God have stored up for me and Pastor Amy and our family I pray that God would release it into your life I pray that God would do it in your life in the name of Jesus I pray that he would give you victory in every situation I pray that he would give you real solutions for every problem that is before you in the name of Jesus Christ come on just lift your hands to heaven lift your hands to heaven God is able God is able to do 
just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on my God. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able, oh, sing with me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, 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 we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Bless our partners. Bless our viewing audience. Bless everyone under the sound of our voice. Bless them, I pray. Bless them beyond measure. Shock them. Come through in ways that they never thought possible. Shock them. Amaze them. In the name of Jesus. I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed into the ministry. To support the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give SeanPinder.net forward slash give You can also give through the ministry PayPal account That address is PayPal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries PayPal.me forward slash SeanPinder Ministries You can also give through the Cash App our cash up address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail your donations in to the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love all of you. We care deeply about you. Just before this broadcast is closed, if you're not a born-again Christian and have never surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, now could not be a better time than this. I just couldn't leave this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to get saved and make it right with God. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. I am a sinner. Wash me in your blood. Jesus, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. You were buried in a borrowed tomb. And on the third day, God raised you from the dead. I believe with all my heart the gospel of Jesus Christ. From this day, I make a commitment. I turn my back on this world the flesh and the devil to serve the true and living God Lord I thank you for forgiving me of all of my sins and saving my soul in Jesus name I pray if you prayed that simple but powerful prayer your sins have been forgiven and let me and my lovely wife Pastor Amy be the first to say to you welcome into the kingdom of God welcome into the kingdom of God welcome into God's family he loves you with everything in his being that's why he died for you I want you to type below this video right now I've just surrendered my life to Jesus the greatest message we see under these videos is that message right there. I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. God bless you. We are so happy you are saved. 
you are now on your way to heaven. You are a child of God. The most important decision you could ever make in your entire life. We love you. God bless you. Remember to join us again on tomorrow morning for another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.